Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm the Bad Back Gardener. In this uh, short video today, I'm going to catch you up on what's going on in the garden here in spring of 2018. Uh, hasn't been a whole lot because uh, we've had awful weather for the spring. We've had more snow in uh, March and April than we've had we had in February. So uh, it's been a really ugly spring as it's been through a lot of the country. Uh, I've heard it from a lot of people saying that they're having trouble getting out in the gardens and doing anything. So uh, we finally got to get in a warm weekend here. So I'm going to try and get my early tomatoes in. Uh, I like to get them in in April as soon as I can, as soon as the ground's workable. Uh, I do protect them with some stuff to help help them get through some of the colder days ahead. But uh, that way I can get uh, my tomatoes as early as I can. Hopefully I can get them some in May. I've done it before and I hope to do it again this year. So, so far I have planted some tomatoes already on the other side here. Kind of a windy day so I hope that uh, you can hear it's not affecting the microphone too much, but uh, I've got uh, four of them planted on the other side. I'm going to plant about nine total in here, all my bigger ones that I've started early. And then I will, we're not, we're supposed to have a pretty warm weekend, so I don't have to worry too much about them uh, being too cold for them this weekend. I will protect them with this, this is kind of basically putting them out uh, to harden up by covering them with this. They, they'll they'll be fine they won't get direct sunlight too much and they'll be out of the wind once I get it covered so they'll be good to go from there so I've planted the other side I've got two two holes ready uh, already dug here and getting ready to plant my next set of tomatoes Okay, so I've, I've dug, uh, the two holes I've dug are pretty deep. As you can see, when I plant my, transplant these ones inside, uh, I put them in a pretty dig, deep pot. And I want to dig an even deeper hole, so they're, they're going to be down about that far into the ground, which helps them uh, when times of drought, it's still pretty moist down below, so they don't dry out very fast. Keeps me from having to water them all the time. And also develops a strong root system. Uh, they'll they'll grow roots wherever wherever the plant is underground. So I've uh, into that hole. I put uh, some water crystals. They're uh, these water crystals right here is what they are. They're pterosaur water crystals. Another thing that helps me not have to water them too much during the summer when it gets hot. Um, they they soak up water and then slowly release them to the plant. And uh, the one good thing about these ones here, you've seen me use this before if you've seen my other videos, uh, this uh, actually breaks down and uh, it, it adds potassium to the, to the plants and stuff as it breaks down uh, over time. It's not a salt based, so it doesn't leave any salts and stuff behind in the soil. I've also added some uh, Osmocote fertilizer in here with it and I've also put in uh, I take my my uh, rasp here and I take some drywall and I wrap some drywall into the hole and that's going to help with any calcium deficiencies of the, the plant kind of prevents blossom and rot for your tomatoes so I do that for my tomatoes and my peppers when I plant them <clears throat> so I've got all that done we're all ready to plant as you can see it's a pretty deep hole so now the trick is to get them out of this big pot without disturbing the roots too much. You're going to do it a little bit, but they'll be fine. That's just a little bit of uh, landscape material to keep the, the uh, big holes from letting the soil out. And my pot, or my stake has fallen, and that's not going real good. Backfill, push it down some. I'm 
there's that one planted. Now for these ones here, again, try and I'm going to try and get them out without disturbing the root base too, too much. Easier said than done sometimes. That one went better. I have some water here in the garden. I'm just gonna give them, get them a good shot of water here. Okay, I got all nine of my tomatoes planted here. Uh, they're looking a little weathered with the wind blowing and whipping around here uh, that hasn't helped it's really windy today but it's nice and warm and I wanted to get out and I wanted to get these things in here um, I like to get them in in the middle of April or sometime in April here like I said uh, so we got them all planted I will take the next thing I'll do is I'll take uh, cozy coats or, or the water jacket the plastic water jacket uh, teepees that go around them and uh, fill them up put them in there that acts as a greenhouse effect for them so that helps uh, in the cold weather as well and uh, then uh, of course the row cover over top of them it's a little bit heavier of a row cover to protect them uh, it's 1.4 ounce I believe and uh, I also will uh, run a heater in here and uh, I have a switched outlet on the outside of my house I'll run an extension cord down put a small heater in here uh, when I do that I have to put plastic over this as well because I can't have the heater getting getting wet but if I see it's going to get too cold that's what I'll do uh, but the with the cozy coats and the or the water teepees and the row cover I'm good to to the mid 20s probably if I see it getting down much more than that I will put a heater in here but uh, unfortunately next week uh, they call them for there could be a day or so of snow not going to get real cold but it has a chance of snow uh, so some people call me crazy for putting them in this early but uh, I like early tomatoes. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Catch up with me on Facebook. You can also email me at bbgardener at zoominternet.net and send any comments or questions. It's always nice to hear from people. Or you can inquire about getting a t-shirt or something like that. So thanks for watching. And if your back ain't hurting, you ain't working.